Last weekend, Blue Beetle devastated Warner Brothers in DC with a really abysmal opening weekend. Now, some people would say that it kind of performed within their projections of around the 22 to 30 million dollar mark, uh, taking in around 25 million dollars at the domestic box office. But still, when you consider that this is a movie that costs around 120 for the studio to actually make, you can see why that's not a good. Uh, domestic take for it i mean all things considered i mean this is going to be another one of their box office bombs in the seventh in a row for dc now since then we're hearing a lot of other excuses and just outright begging from the director basically trying to say oh yeah come see this movie because the green lantern's going to be in it or there's a green lantern cameo what you didn't see it well you better check it out again to watch it and never mind the fact that it's basically just a throwaway thing if there's even a green lantern in it i mean that's still a matter of opinion but whatever he says it is but either way it does doesn't matter and then we got the studio just coming out and saying it's the weather's fault that this did so badly in places like los angeles where it was indexing very high never mind the fact that other movies like barbie still did pretty well within the los angeles area despite the exact same weather so in all honesty it was really just people not wanting to see this movie but when you still look at review aggregate sites like rotten tomatoes i mean it did do pretty well amongst audiences so maybe the studio was hoping like well people just weren't sure about this character so they didn't come out to see it in an opening weekend but maybe it'll have good word of mouth and that'll carry it further well all those hopes and dreams were just shattered after this last report so blue beetles 61 percent second weekend drop is better than shazam 2 and the flash two other bombs box office is still not great and yeah and that's the whole thing is even though it's better than two of these other bombs uh in dc's lineup it's still not good enough to actually carry i mean it probably need i mean with the way that this movie started it probably needed to like a 10 15 maybe 20 percent drop in order for it to be considered successful and maintain that long uh, for a while but no it's not getting that i mean a 61 percent drop i mean if there was ever any hope that there was going to re- have some recovery from this yeah, i mean that was completely shattered and if you look at the overall box office right now it fell it previously beat out barbie and it's opening weekend and but now Barbie actually beat it again, which is another sad thing considering how much longer this has actually been in theaters over Blue Beetle. So, I mean, and now the newcomer, Gran Turismo, is actually the number one spot at the box office. But some people would say like, oh, well, that's not a whole lot of money right there for another movie like this. You're right, it's not. But if you actually look at Gran Turismo altogether, it made around $31 million worldwide on its opening weekend, at least as so far it has which doesn't sound like a whole lot until you consider that this movie only cost around 60 million dollars to make and uh yeah so right here we got this from variety talking about its early opening of uh 1.4 million so on the preview night so having around uh 30 some million dollars on its opening weekend on a 60 million dollar budget is actually pretty good and by all accounts when all things said and done this is going to make money even though it'll probably need to make around 150 million dollars in order to be considered a success this is a movie that's likely going to do this so what can warner brothers actually learn from this in the future i mean because are they going to take away is like oh it's superhero movies people don't want superhero movies or they don't want superhero movies with unfamiliar characters and there might be some truth to a lot of that but i think the easiest solution is literally just stop spending so much money on movies especially ones that you're not sure about because it used to be that you could just slap a superhero movie out there and everyone will watch it, but that's not the case anymore. And that's kind of been the issue with DC for the longest time now. Unless it has Superman or Batman in it, no one really seems to care about it. So what they need to do is basically just do what uh, pretty much they used to be the Hollywood model for the longest time. When you have something that's untested and people are unsure about, you give it a smaller budget, see what happens. And if it does good, then you give it a bigger budget for the sequel. But instead they're just going out and treating everything like it's a blockbuster film. When you can't just kind of will that into existence, you have to actually earn that. And that's the thing with these movies is they're not earning it with the audiences. They think it's entitled to them. And then they're going to continue with that mindset. Then it's just going to, continue to see these failures from all these studios but let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below and if you like this video make sure you click the like button share the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with the latest news thank you